Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to my English lesson where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language, particularly where you might be aiming to improve your conversational English or you may be trying to improve your opportunities for promotion in your particular job and you want to really nail down your English language. Well, we're here to help you. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about clothes and we're going to talk about adjectives to describe clothes. But before I do that, just let me remind you that you can listen to me on my podcast. You can download the podcast and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you'll find the button down here on the left hand side. And I'll give you my contact details later should you wish to contact me or pass the details on to your friend. Okay, so back to our lesson today. We're talking about clothes and in particular we're talking about adjectives that describe clothes. So there are many, many ways to describe the clothes that we wear. So let's look at a few of them. Tight fitting. So tight fitting are clothes that don't leave much room for breathing. So they're really tight. You can see every inch of the person's body there. You know, particularly somebody who's really fit, they like to wear tight fitting clothes that will show their figure or their shape. Okay, so tight fitting, not much room for breathing. <gasps> yeah, so when you squeeze into something that is tight fitting. The opposite of tight fitting will be baggy. So some people like to wear baggy clothes. Baggy clothes are very loose, lots of room in them. And often we use the word trousers, baggy trousers or a baggy shirt, something with lots of room, particularly on a hot summer's day. You like to wear baggy clothes that will allow the air to circulate around your body. Baggy trousers, very fashionable. Casual clothes. So when we talk about casual clothes, they're the opposite to the formal clothes that we might wear, the business suit, okay, or the suit we would wear for a wedding. They're very, very formal. But when something says casual clothes, it could be something like this, the t-shirt, it could be a shirt without a, a tie, or it could be a loose or stylish jacket, or no jacket at all, and just a pair of casual trousers. So casual clothes, the casual look. So some people today, most people enjoy the casual look to dress casually when they go to the office. So the idea of a suit and a shirt and tie, they seem to have gone out of the window. People don't use them so often. So that brings us on then to formal. So formal clothes are the clothes that we used to wear. When I worked in an office many, many years ago, it was always a suit, a collar and tie. So you had many suits in your wardrobe. If you looked in my wardrobe now, no suits at all. Everything is casual. So if you get an invitation to somebody's wedding and written along the bottom of the wedding invitation is formal dress essential, meaning you have to wear a suit it might even be a black tie, one of those very specific suits where you have a little black tie and a white shirt and a black jacket and black trousers. So it will tell you how formal the, the dress code is, but it might be the jacket and trousers for the man and the full dress for the woman. So look out on those invitations to see, is it casual dress where you can dress really the way you want or formal where you have to be very specific, either the suit for the man and the dress or trouser suit for the woman also. Colourful. So when we talk about colourful clothes, well, I and lots of other people like to wear colourful clothes. It could be nice bright orange or bright yellow or red or whatever your favourite colour happens to be. Or it could be all of them. So you end up with looking like a rainbow. Okay, so colourful clothes. Oh, that's a very colourful outfit that you have. So multicoloured really to suit the, the day in it, the middle of July, the middle of August, when hopefully the sun is shining. We'd like to wear those colourful clothes. Plain clothes. So again, the opposite of colourful. When something is plain, it's very ordinary. It's very dull. There's just one colour and usually the colour could be a, a grey or a mushroom or the colour my wife hates me wearing brown. So if you ever see me in brown, it means my wife's not home for the day because she doesn't like me wearing brown. So brown, beige, mushroom, these could be described as plain colours. Not very attractive, not very interesting. We might call them somber, meaning a little bit dull. Okay, so plain clothes. We have plain clothes detectives in the police force. These are 
policemen that don't wear a uniform so they blend in with the rest of the people so they can walk around and spot people and do their investigation. Plain clothes, detectives. Okay, tasteful. So when something is tasteful, it looks nice. It could be tasteful for the occasion, a nice suit for a wedding, very tasteful. Somebody could be tastefully dressed when they go into a very important business meeting. It might be formal, but it certainly will be very tasteful, a nice suit, a nice shirt, a nice tie. So depending on the occasion, you dress to fit that particular occasion. So tastefully dressed, okay? So something that really, really looks good. We can have unfashionable clothes. So unfashionable clothes are clothes that are not really in at the moment. So you'll find out from your uh, young children and your teenagers what are fashionable clothes. So you walk out of the bedroom and they look, what are you wearing? That looks like it came out of the ark. Yeah. So you're wearing something that you like, something's very comfortable. But as far as they're concerned, it's unfashionable. It's not really fashionable to wear that type of jacket or those type of jeans or even those type of shoes. Ah, oh, come on, Dad, you have to be fashionable. You have to keep up with the times. But as I always tell them, what was fashionable 10 years ago may be unfashionable today, but in five years' time, if you hold on to it long enough, guess what? It's going to be fashionable again. So fashionable or unfashionable, it depends on your mood. Smart. So everybody likes to be smartly dressed or most people like to be smartly dressed. So it doesn't have to be formal. It doesn't have to be casual. It just has to be smart, meaning the shirt has been ironed recently. The trousers have been washed or cleaned. The shoes have been polished. Okay. So, oh, he looks very smart. So the young boy coming for his first communion or his first day at school and he's wearing the clothes that will really make him look smart even if it's only just for one day and tomorrow they'll be uh, creased and whatever grass stains whatever else happens to kids clothes so yeah try to be smartly dressed for the occasion to dress smart so it's not casual it's not formal it just means clean well pressed well presented and not ripped or torn or up like this, like that, whatever it might be. So nice and smart. Trendy. Well, this is a modern word, trendy. So what does trendy mean? Well, usually it means something that is fashionable at the moment. So is it purple or is it mauve or is it orange? What's the trendy color? What's the color that's in fashion? Or if I go out and I wear a, a t-shirt, which is cut off at the, the arms here, somebody might say, oh, that's very trendy. I haven't seen you wearing that before. So, ah, yes, it takes 20 years off your look. So to have something trendy. Or if you wear glasses where they've got a blue tinge or some different color, they could be described as trendy because they, they look modern. They look really chic. They're something that, yeah, you didn't get from your granddad or your or your grandmother okay so something trendy something fashionable something modern scruffy well anything scruffy is something that's dirty so we actually use the two words together oh that's scruffy dirty why don't you take it off and put it in the washing machine i'll wash it and you can wear it tomorrow no mom i like to wear this so the kids when they're going to university or school they they like to wear what they like to wear not what you want them to wear and okay some jeans look a little bit scruffy some t-shirts look a little bit scruffy you know they like to dress real loose and casual clothes so unfortunately sometimes they look scruffy look your shoes are scruffy what were you doing were you running through a field yeah so scruffy clothes scruffy dirty something really not as clean and not as smart the word that we we also used and then finally sleeveless well this is a sleeve okay and this is a sleeve so jumpers have sleeves some shirts have sleeves jackets have sleeves but if you're wearing a t-shirt it is sleeveless meaning it is cut off here or cut off there cut off here cut off there so sleeveless something that has no sleeves they're not long sleeves they are short sleeves or sleeveless so you go into the sports shop and you ask to buy can I have a sleeveless top or a sleeveless t-shirt or whatever particular item that you're going to, to buy but if it's sleeveless it's cut up at the top or very close to the top of your arms okay so let me give them to you again so we've got tight fitting baggy casual formal colorful plain 
tasteful, unfashionable, smart, scruffy, trendy, and finally sleeveless. Okay, all different adjectives describing clothes. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. As I said before, if you want to contact me, then you can do so on www englishlessonviaskype.com really happy to hear from you really happy to get your suggestions as to what you might like me to include in future videos and if you want to pass this on to your friends or colleagues or family please do so and also if you're looking to have some one-to-one -one lessons face-to-face -face lessons you want to try and improve your english privately well why don't you come and give me a call it won't always be me that will be available, unfortunately, to give the lessons, but I have lots of teachers working with me now, really professional people, really, really good and can suit any particular situation, either teachers for your kids, teachers for you, whoever it might be. Okay, well, thanks for listening and join me again soon.